Alfa Romeo 33 Stradale returns with V6 and electric powertrains. The Alfa Romeo 33 Stradale has arrived, waving goodbye to the era of gasoline-powered mid-engine supercars while also ushering in a new electric era. For the first time since the 4C was discontinued, Alfa Romeo has a mid-engine flagship car. The 33 Stradale pays homage to the car of the same name from 1967, which was the road-going version of the Tipo 33 race car. The Alfa Romeo 4C previously paid homage to this car with a special edition, but this is a much closer interpretation. Only 33 examples will be built in total, and they are all sold. A mid-mounted 3.0-liter twin-turbocharged V6 engine sends 620 metric horsepower. 612 bhp to the rear wheels through an 8-speed dual clutch transmission alpha says this is not the same engine found in the maserati mc20 but rather an improved version of the ferrari derived v6 used in the giulia quadrifolia the v6 can rocket the 33 stradale from 0 to 62 miles per hour in under three seconds Alternatively, buyers can opt for an all-electric version producing 740 horsepower. A 102 kWh battery with an 800V architecture enables 280 miles on a charge, WLTP estimated. Both versions can crack 206 miles per hour. Two trim levels will be available, Tributo and Alpha Course. The design is absolutely jaw-dropping with an illuminated Alfa Romeo shield and butterfly doors ahead of two large air inlets. Customers can customize the air intakes, wheels, and even the distinctive shield, so no two cars will be the same. This slippery body yields a drag coefficient of just 0.375, at zero lift, with no active aero systems. Both trims feature double arm, active suspension with a front axle lift system. A drive mode selector lets owners swap between strada, road, mode and pista, track, mode. There's also a quadrifolio button with launch control, using traction control to minimize wheel slip. As with the exterior, the interior is a work of art. You won't find giant touchscreens here, only minimal controls to aid in the driving experience. A 3D telescope display in front of the steering wheel mimics heritage Alfa Romeo gauges, and there's a small screen above the center console. Speaking of which, the center console is made from aluminum, carbon fiber, leather, and Alcantara and looks like it came out of a 1960s concept car. All controls are housed on the console or overhead, leaving the steering wheel devoid of buttons. The unique door design with wraparound glass gives occupants an airplane cockpit-style view out of the car. There is no information on pricing, but since all 33 are spoken for, it doesn't matter anyway. However, there may be other opportunities in the future. This is the brand's first Furisery, custom-built, car since 1969, and I promise it won't be the last, CEO Jean-Philippe Imperato confirmed. We can't wait to see what's next.